Welcome to TAS TAFE's Beauty and Nail Information Session. My name is Kylie Clare. I'm one of the teachers here at Allenvale in the north and joining me to answer your questions this afternoon in the chat box is Ilka Drury and Courtney Page, both from the Allenvale campus, Kyla Roberts from our Campbell Street Hobart campus and Louise Allen from our Devonport campus. So firstly, let's just have a little look at the courses that we have to offer for 2022. We have Certificate 3 in Nail Technology. Now this is ran at Allenvale and Campbell Street campuses. The qualification requirements are 15 units. There are 11 core units and four elective units. The units that we cover in this qualification are Advise on Beauty Products and Services, Manicure and Pedicure, gel nail enhancements, acrylic nail enhancements, apply nail art, use electric file equipment for nail services, research and apply beauty industry information, conduct salon financial transactions, provide salon services to clients and comply with organisational requirements within a personal services industry and apply safe hygiene, health and work practices. So they're our core and our four elective units are market the small business, undertake small business planning and apply advanced nail art and recommend products and services. The timetable information for this course, the course duration is from the 7th of February to the 24th of November 2022. It's two evenings per week over the school year for the Allenvale campus, which is Monday and Thursdays from 5.30 to 9 p.m. Please note there is some external study requirements where you will need to complete theory research assignments externally to your timetabled sessions on campus. Our Campbell Street Hobart campus certificate to in nail technology will run from the 8th of February to the 23rd of November 2022. Two days a week over a school year this is held on Tuesday and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Again, there are the same external study requirements to complete your theory research assignments externally to the timetabled sessions. Most importantly, the course fees and associated costs. So if you're a full fee paying student, it is $1,200. If you have a concession, it is $370. Plus on top of that, you'll need to purchase the nail technology kit that we provide here. And the kit will include all the necessary equipment to perform acrylic gel and natural nail services. The cost for that kit is $1,199. Our next course that we have to offer is Certificate 3 in Beauty Services. This is run at our Allenvale, Devonport and our Campbell Street campuses. The qualification requirements, there's 11 core units, apply cosmetic tanning, lash and brow services, waxing services, design and apply makeup, provide manicure and pedicure services, research and apply beauty industry information, conduct salon financial transactions, provide salon services to clients, comply with organisational requirements within a personal services environment, apply safe hygiene, health and work practices, and advise on beauty products and services. The elective units for Certificate 3 Beauty are apply eyelash extensions, apply nail art, recommend products and services, and design and apply makeup for photography. Timetable information. This course is held two days per week from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. At our Allenvale campus, it's from the 9th of February to the 24th of November, 2022. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Campbell Street, we have two groups. Group one is the 9th of February to the 24th of November, which are Wednesdays and Thursdays. And group two is the 10th of February to the 25th of November, which is held on Thursday and Fridays. Devonport campus, the course duration is the 8th of February to the 23rd of November, and it's held on a Tuesday and Wednesday. The course fees and associated costs for Certificate 3 in Beauty Services, full fee is $976, concession is $325.30, dollars 
plus your beauty kit, which will give you all the items to perform the various beauty services such as lash extensions, makeup and natural nail services, and that is at a cost of $985. Certificate 4 in Beauty Therapy, this is held at both our Allenvale and our Campbell Street campus. This has 19 units, 13 core units, which are tanning, provide body massages, body treatments, provide lash and brow services, provide facial treatments and skincare recommendations, provide waxing services, design and apply makeup, provide manicure and pedicure services, research and apply beauty industry information, conduct salon financial transactions, provide salon services to clients, comply with organisational requirements within a personal service environment, apply safe hygiene, health and work practices, and the elective units are provide specialised facial treatments, apply eyelash extensions, apply gel nail enhancements, use electric file equipment for nail services. In the north, we do acrylic nail enhancements. In the south, they do apply nail art and then provide female intimate waxing services. <clears throat> the timetable information, <clears throat> this course is held three days per week at our Allenvale campus from 9am to 4pm. It starts on the 7th of February to the 25th of November 2022 and it's held on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Our Certificate for Beauty Campbell Street campus, we have two groups. The first one, the 8th of February to the 24th of November. It's held Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays and then in term one and two only, you will also attend on a Monday. Class times are nine till four. Group two at Campbell Street, duration of the course is the 9th of February to the 25th of November. It's held on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and you'll also attend on a Monday for term three and four. Again, the class times are the same from 9am till 4pm. Course fees and associated costs for Certificate for Beauty. The tuition fee is $2,785. The concession fee is $370, plus your beauty kit, which will give you all the items you need to perform a range of services, such as acrylic gel, natural nail services, eyelash extensions, makeup. And that is $1,659. Now let's talk about the application process. Applications will open on the 8th of November, 2021. So that is next Monday. Visit our website and go to the apply and enroll page and watch our applying at TASTAFE presentation. After you have submitted your application, keep an eye on your emails as we will advise the outcome of your application or if we need further information from you. Please also note to check junk folders and spam for spam because sometimes it may go through to that. Now, when it comes to applying at TAS TAFE presentation that you'll find on our website, this video will step you through the process and in preparation of applying, we encourage you to do two different things. The first one is to create a TAS TAFE student account and the second is to obtain a unique student identifier. We call them USIs. Details on how to apply are in the applying at TASTAFE video on the website. And then when it comes to fees, you will be required to pay upfront or you can arrange a payment installment plan. If you arrange a payment instalment plan, you will need to have a minimum of 25% deposit of the total course and kit fee for your qualification before the census date. The payment plan will be over a period of up to six months. In exceptional circumstances, these plans can be extended. Now the census date is early April exact date to be advised on the first day of class. So what the census date actually means, if you decide that you start the course and we get to say mid-March and you decide it's not for you, you can withdraw and not have to pay anything, but you would have to pay for any kits that you've received. 
When it comes to concessions at TAS TAFE, we offer fee concessions based on your or your family's Centrelink status. You may be eligible for a concession if you are receiving a Centrelink al allowance such as New Start, Youth Allowance, Disability Support Pension, a pension, or study, or ab study, and have a Centrelink health care card, or you are listed on a current Centrelink card as a dependent. To claim a concession, simply produce Centrelink evidence relevant to your benefit or allowance at the time of enrolment. Refunds. If you withdraw before the census date of the course, you'll be able to secure a full refund of the fees you have paid or payable, which I did mention before. You will not be eligible for a refund if you withdraw beyond this period or have a competent unit within the qualification at the time of withdrawal. And I'd just like to also stress that models and clients for practical sessions, it's very important that you can source your own clients for the courses. We do have a model book here where clients do pop their name in that students can access, but without the models, it's very hard to complete the practical side of the course because there is a lot of, of practical involved um, in each unit to gain competency. The next slide is student support. If you need assistance or support during your time at TAS TAFE, please don't hesitate to contact one of our student counsellors or our disability liaison officers for help. We offer a range of student services, including support with additional literacy and numeracy, study skills, advice about financial assistance, counselling, disability support, and career planning. Please call 1300 655 307 to make an appointment or visit the student support section on our website. Now that concludes our formal um, presentation, but I'm sure that many people have a lot of questions that they'd like to ask. So I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen. Now, if you do have a question, please just pop it in the chat and either Ilka, Courtney, Kyla or Louise will be able to answer those questions for you. And I'll answer some by reading them out as well, just so everyone can get the same answer. Um, one question's just popped up here. Why is now technology on different days and times in the South compared to the North? Well, this is due to our room availability. You will be completing a lot of theory in your own time as it's a combination of self-paced and classroom learning. So although it's a little different, the outcome will be exactly the same. So please feel free to pop your questions into the live Q&A so that we can answer them. No questions, silly. It's really important that if there's something that you'd like to ask, now's the time. No one can see what you're asking. It comes up as anonymous. Just got another one that's popped up. I have a back injury. Can I still do a beauty course? Well, of course you can, but you will need to be able to sit and stand for long periods of the day. And to be able to complete this course, you also need really good dexterity skills to be able to use your hands to complete the practical tasks required. So keep in mind, you know, as a beauty therapist, we're standing a lot. As a nail technician, we're sitting a lot. Another one's just popped through. I have a holiday booked and I'll be away for three to four weeks. Will I be able to catch up? We recommend to utilise the school holidays where you can for any planned trips away. This is due to the classes being fairly fast paced and if you miss a lot, it can be really difficult to catch up and you may not complete if you can't catch up. 
can see lots of questions coming through now. How important is it that I can provide clients as timetabled? You will need to be able to source your own clients for these courses. Like I mentioned before, models are a really important part of the practical learning and the assessment side. Without them, it's very difficult to complete. We recommend bringing your friends and family and why we suggest friends and family, they're always very reliable and they wanna support your learning. But we do also have the list of clients that you can access here in the hair and beauty department um, and there are numerous different pages that you could post on social media to try and obtain clients but just remember friends and family always seem to be very reliable because they want to help you achieve your goals. Another question someone's just asked do I have to get the kit? And I can see another one, what comes in the nail kit? So yes, you need to purchase the kit. This is a requirement to complete your training as the kit is specialized products and tools and equipment and textbooks, for example, which are required for your practical learning and assessment tasks. What's in the kit is what's required for you um, to actually achieve your activities and complete your assessments. So it's similar region to region. And that's just something that we mostly go through with our students um, when we actually start the course. We're just in the process of finalising our kits for 2022. So that question's a little difficult to answer. Another question, what if English is my second language? Well, it is recommended to have a level three English to be able to enroll in a TAS TAFE course. Another question that has just popped up, I can't read very well, does that matter? Like I mentioned before on the study support slide, we do have great access to support for literacy and numeracy. You will be required to understand the information that is being delivered though. So if you can't read very well, you may need to let us know or when you enrol and, and apply for the course, um, tick all the relevant boxes so that, that that assistance can be provided to you when you commence your training next year. Can I do two courses at once? It is very difficult to complete two courses within the hair and beauty department at once due to the practical and theory requirements. From our personal experience um, teaching, we do recommend that you focus on one course per year so that you can achieve a great outcome. Another question. What if I can't pay for my fees in full up front? Well, I mentioned before that you can either pay up front in full or you can arrange that payment installment plan with a minimum 25% deposit of your qualification before the census date. The payment plan will be up for up to a period of six months and they can be extended in exceptional circumstances. I think the most important thing just to remember is the census date, which we will give you an exact date on the first day of class next year, but it usually is early April. Another question I have, do I have to wear anything specific for my course? Yes, you will be issued with a uniform top. Along with that, you will be required to wear black closed in shoes, and this is for workplace health and safety reasons black pants or a knee length skirt. And during practical sessions, we need to ensure that your hair is tied up or back, again, for workplace health and safety reasons. Lots of questions coming through. Another one, what if I use all the products in my kit practicing at home? 
Well, there is enough product in your kit for the practical activities and assessments on campus. So if you happen to use it all, you will need to restock the kit at your own expense. Now we can provide you with the supplier's details to be able to restock that if that was to happen. And I'm just going to keep going through these questions just to have a look. <clears throat> Somebody's asked, can you get credit transfers through USI from college? So if you have completed, say, a certificate two in retail cosmetics in grade 11 or 12 at for example, Newstead College or Launceston College, then as long as those units are the same codes, yes, you can get credit transfers for those. So that's something that you'd need to provide during the application process is a statement of attainment with the units listed or the qualification that you've received. Somebody else has asked, when is the latest date to apply for the 2022 course? So our applications will go live on November the 8th, which is next Monday. It'll be sometime in the morning. So what I suggest is that you get up and check the website. In the meantime, you will need to register and make a TASTAFE account and also register for a USI, which is a unique student identifier. So I would do that in preparation for applying for any of the courses next week. So create your TASTAFE account and create your USI ready. Just having a look back through these questions, please feel free to keep asking the questions. Um, it's really important that you utilize this webinar to ask us. I noticed there's a few questions um, that some of the staff have already answered, which is fantastic. Some of them may be private answers to you. Some may be under our published section that you're seeing. So I have another question. If not successful, is there any other course before 2023? <clears throat> That's a great question. Unfortunately, we only have one intake a year. Please note though, if you're not successful first up, because obviously we do have to have a limitation on the amount of students that we have for each class due to our room sizes and workplace health and safety. Um, if anyone decides not to take their position up come say after Christmas before we commence our course, then you will automatically get enrolled in that course if someone was to drop off. What if you have done a lot of work similar to some of the units? Um, that's probably something that we'd need to look at on an individual basis. So please feel free, um, you could actually email go to the website and just, you can actually send an email to the wellbeing team from the website, which is what we fall under, but we'd need to look at that separately. Is there a major difference between beauty services and beauty therapy? The difference really between beauty services and beauty therapy is that certificate four in beauty therapy has some other units that we don't do in um, certificate three beauty services and that is body treatments, body massage, female intimate waxing or Brazilian waxing as you may know it, facials and specialised facials and also we do gel, acrylic and electric file. When it comes to beauty services certificate three they do photographic makeup. We do all the other units that I just mentioned in cert four. I currently have a diploma in beauty therapy, but would love to do now enhancement certificate three. Am I eligible to apply? Absolutely, you certainly can. And again, that would depend how old your diploma is. If it's a very old qualification, the chances are that some of the units may not map over to the current training package. Again, that's something that we'd need to look at individually and um, get a list of your statement of attainment. 
Another question, do you have compulsory competitions through the beauty courses? No, we don't have compulsory competitions through the beauty courses at all. Um, basically, we're completing the activities and we're completing their required assessments to meet competency in that unit. There is the opportunity in Certificate 4, as long as students have completed the required work, that they may have the opportunity to do work placement in Term 3. And a lot of the students actually do obtain employment from doing that. Someone's asked, can I apply for two courses at once? <clears throat> for example, if I applied for both Cert 4 and Cert 3 and didn't get into Cert 4, I may get into Cert 3. Correct, you can apply for as many courses as, as you want. Um, you would obviously need to notify us if you um, got into one course and you wish to not proceed with the other course. Can I still apply for a course if I potentially can't attend? Well, you can certainly apply for the course and I suppose if you potentially can't attend come February 2022, then you can let us know and withdraw from that course. Um, but obviously all of our courses, although a lot of the theory work is online, it is very important that you attend for practical and theory lessons um, so that you can complete the requirements. Someone's asked, I think I owe TASTAFE money from years ago, can I st still do a new course? Um, what I suggest you do, if that's the case, is give client services a call tomorrow. You can contact them and be put through to the relevant um, department or you could speak with finance. You could call 1-300-655-307. Another question, are there any commitments outside of the allocated days apart from doing theory work and practice? Look, you don't have to do practice at home. Obviously, we encourage practice to be done here and that's part of the activities that you do before you're assessed from a practical component. Um, the commitments will obviously be theory. So for Certificate 4, you know, we recommend probably allocating one day a week. That's realistic to try and complete the theory work. For Cert 3 Beauty, at times you may need to spend a day a week doing your theory work. Other times you may need half a day, for example. So that's the only commitment, but there is a lot of theory work that you will need to do off campus. <clears throat> What's the difference between Cert 3 and Cert 4? I think I mentioned that before. I hope whoever posted that question heard that, but basically I will repeat it. Certificate 3 Beauty doesn't cover some of the units that we do in Certificate 4. So the difference is in Certificate 4 Beauty Therapy, we do body massage, body treatments, facials, specialised facials, acrylic, gel nails, electrical equipment for nails and intimate waxing. In Cert 3, they do do photographic makeup, which is something we don't do in Cert 4. You can actually go to the TAS TAFE website and you actually can click on the qualifications and you'll see the units that we deliver in each qualification. What time are applications? All we've been advised is that it is Monday the 8th of November. So what I suggest is get up bright and early and click on the website and see if you can apply. Another question, if you're currently doing a VET course at college and haven't yet received your certificate but have completed all the units and they are competent, how do you do a credit transfer? For TASTAFE to be able to do a credit transfer, we would actually need a list, a statement of attainment of the units that you've completed. So if that is the case and you've completed that and you're competent at college, you would need to ask your teacher to process your results and so that you can get that statement of attainment and use for your credit transfer. Um, just going through seeing if there's any other questions. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be any more. Um, it is 5.35, so we do have a little bit more time left. If you'd like to post some more questions, feel free. 
No question, silly. It's really important that um, you utilise the time that we're on here. OK, so we have some more. If I gain a traineeship, do they pay for it? How does that all work? <clears throat> so we obviously have trainees and apprentices that attend TASTAE for all beauty qualifications. Um, that obviously depends on the employer. That is something that you would need to discuss with them if you were successful in obtaining a traineeship or an apprenticeship. I have completed my cert to in retail cosmetics this year. Does it mean I don't have to do all the units? We'd need, again, as I mentioned before, if you've completed that, we'd need the statement of attainment so that we can see the units that you've done. If those units are the same as what we teach in either Cert 3 Naltech, Cert 3 Beauty or Cert 4 Beauty, then yes, um, if you've successfully got a competent result for those, you would get a credit transfer. Do you need to complete Cert 3 before Cert 4? You can do Cert 3 if you wanted to before. It de I suppose it depends on the individual and their commitment and how many days a week they, they want to study for. So remember Cert 3 um, for the North, for example, I'm just speaking for the campus that I work at, it's two days a week and Cert 4 is three days a week. Hobart is a little bit different. They do a little bit of extra. Um, so I suppose it really depends on what you want to commit to. Someone said I'm still paying for my course this year. Can I still apply for next year? Um, I suggest that maybe you give client services a call or finance a call. You can contact them on 1300 655 307. Someone's just asked a question. I need to drop my child at school. What are the chances of starting class 10 to 15 minutes late? Well, that can be really hard because sometimes if you're late um, to class all the time, that can impact your learning. So we normally allow from 9 to 9.15 to set up ready for our practical classes. So if you have clients coming in. So if you were late, um, that would mean that you'd be late starting your client, depending on the service that can impact the teacher's lunch break, your lunch break. So we do try and persuade and people to try and arrive on time. You know, the odd time students may be a few minutes late to class because they're stuck in traffic isn't a problem at all, but it is something that I'd discuss with your teacher. And if someone cannot get a client for practice, Will uni provide a model? So we're TAS TAFE, we're not the uni. Um, we don't organise your models or clients for you. It is your responsibility. We do have a model book that you can actually access. And there are a few different Facebook, social media pages around where students post for clients, including their own personal. But we won't provide it. We can definitely give you some names from our book and you can contact them. When do you find out what group you will be in if you successfully get in? Um, I'm not sure what date they'll actually get back to you, but it's usually fairly quick. So the applications obviously open on the 8th. So you would probably hear back within a week or two. Do I need my qualifications or any past experience to get into Cert 3? You don't need any qualifications or past experience to get into any of our courses. There's no prerequisites for any of them. How do you upload your USI on your student profile? So if you go to the website, there is a part on there where you can actually play a little video, I believe, which will actually show you how you can do that. You'll need to create that student profile first. <clears throat> can I apply for Cert 3 Nail Technology and Cert 4 Beauty in the same time? Um, look, you can, but it would be very challenging to finish both qualifications and be doing both qualifications. That would mean 
I'm not sure what region you're in, if it's north, south, um, and you want to do nails and cert for beauty. But just to give you an example of the campus that we're at, if you were to do cert three nail tech and cert for beauty, you'd have a 12 hour day on a Monday. That's just the times that the classes are. So beauty's through the day and nail technologies of an evening. And then you'd be here Monday, Wednesday, Friday for Cert 4 and Monday and Thursday night till 9pm. 9, 9 um, so it would be pretty challenging to complete both. The beauty of our Cert 4 qualification, it does have some units in it that are similar to Cert 3 nails. So there are still some types of nail enhancements in them. It depends on the region. <clears throat> Is the Devonport Certificate 3 considered full time? That's a great question. I would have to check on that. I'm pretty sure it's around 16 hours a week that's considered full time. Um, you could have a look on the website. If that's for a Centrelink, they'd be able to tell you how many hours they require as full time. If successful, are we allowed or able to reduce the cost of the kits by using products we already have, such as a nail lamp and e-file? Um, just to answer your question there, Kira, then no, you do, you are required to use the kits that we have here, and that's because there are some workplace health and safety issues around people bringing products and equipment in from outside. All of our electrical equipment has to be tested and tagged. And the other thing is nail lamps are slightly different depending on the manufacturer and the products that we use. So your lamp may not cure our products, my lamp might not cure your products. Um, E-files aren't part of the kit. They are something that we have for classroom use because of their expense of them. So do we have any more questions for those of you that are on? I can't see anything new coming through, so I'm just going to give you a couple of minutes. If you do have any further questions, if you'd like to post them. got one more that's popped up. If I have done say my nail course, do I have to pay for them kits again? Um, no, you wouldn't have to pay for the nail kits again if you've completed a nail course. Um, if they are what we use at TAFE, it depends on how long ago obviously you did your nail course. Um, did you complete your nail course? Are they credit transfers that we can use towards your qualification? I think that's something that we'd have to look at on a case by case, one on one situation. It depends on if you actually do have the credit transfers. Um, if you've got credit transfers, then you wouldn't need to repeat those units if you've completed it and have a competent result. Um, I've got another question. At present, I'm doing level two English course in TASTAFE Campbell Street. Can I apply for nail technology? Of course you can apply. We do recommend level three, just with the, I suppose the context of what we teach. There is a lot of anatomy and physiology and chemistry involved, but you certainly can apply. Remember, we do have study support available. Any other questions? Okay, <clears throat> well, I'm just gonna one more minute and if we don't get any questions, we will conclude our live webinar. So if there's anything that you'd like to ask before we 
finished for the afternoon, please feel free to pop it up. So someone's asked, will I need to have any documents, etc., for when I apply? So firstly, create your TASTAFE student account on the website. And then if you do, if you have completed any qualifications before where you may have credit transfers, you will need to upload those. You'll need to have your USI and identification. Could I go back over the payment plan requirements? Absolutely, not a problem at all. So the payment plan options are, obviously we have concessions, and if you are receiving Centrelink allowance, such as New Start Youth Allowance, Disability Support, or Study, Ab Study, have a healthcare card, you may be eligible for a concession. The fees, you'll be required to pay either upfront or you can arrange a payment instalment plan. To arrange a payment instalment plan, you will need to have a minimum of 25% deposit for your qualification before the census date, which we will tell you next year when we know the exact date, but it's normally very early April. The payment plan will be over a period of up to six months. In exceptional circumstances, these plans can be extended. So. 25% deposit up front, you'll need to go into client services and set up a payment plan and they can deduct that from your account, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, whichever suits you the best. I hope that answers your questions about the payment plans. Um, someone said Centrelink say on their website, it's the Education Institute who informs us as to whether it's full time. So I can tell you that CERT um, for beauty is full time, it's three days a week. So that is obviously 18 hours of class um, room. CERT, four, be, uh, CERT 3 beauty, sorry, is 12 hours and CERT 3 Nowtech differs from region to region. So I can tell you that the Allenvale CERT 3 Nowtech isn't a full time course. So it depends on the hours. Um, I would need to check that. That is something that um, we, if you'd like to send um, that through on an email, we can get back to you personally. Um, at the end of the webinar, um, probably won't be this evening, but we can get back to you. If you'd actually like to email, and I'll just type it here so everyone can see, Hair Beauty at Taz taz.edu.au. So if you'd like to send that through, that will come through to us. I've just actually posted that. So everyone should be able to see that in the live Q&A. And it is on the PowerPoint as well. Just going back, we've just got a couple more last minute questions that have come through. Reception staff indicated this was the time to find out research three if it is full time or not. They thought it was. I'll have to clarify that. I don't want to say it is if it's not. I don't want to give the wrong information. So again, if you'd like to send that through to hairbeauty at tastafe.tas.edu.au, we can answer that personally for you. Okay. Any other questions? Well, if we don't have any other questions, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. This webinar has been recorded and it will be published on our website soon. So you will be able to go back over the presentation. 
If you do have any more questions, please send them to hairbeauty at tastafe.tas.edu.au and we can email you back individually. So thank you very much for joining our webinar this afternoon. Um, good luck with your application and hopefully we'll see you next year as a student at TAS TAFE. Thank you.